I can't even frenzy. try to say it. I was going to try to say that. Wicked, witchy, wicked, wicked evil. craft, and vendor fair. All right, that's a Wicked, witchy. All right, yeah. All right, uh, of course, we have been tracking uh, some very dry weather here locally. Uh, today will be the 18th day in some locations without or measurable rain. Of course, that has led to an increased fire threat. Uh, very dry fuels, very strong winds today out of the south will once again lead to an elevated fire threat coming up this afternoon, especially in the western Kentucky and the Missouri Boot Hill, where relative humidity values will be the lowest. We are tracking a little rain this morning, making its way in from the west. Not everybody's going to get wet, but uh, there is a chance we could see a few showers through the northwest parts of our viewing area, at least here over the next few hours, continuing to track a few light showers, making their way through parts of Perry County in southern Illinois. Just uh, saw one of those move through the Coulterville area, moving through Nashville right now, far northern part of, uh, say, Perry County as well, likely heading over towards the Tamaro area. If you're doing a traveling up Highway 51 between Tamaro and Ashley, could see some of those showers make their way in over the next 15 minutes and then farther eastward. If these hold together, there's Waltonville, Woodlawn, Mount Vernon. You guys uh, will likely see the shower also make its way into your location here, likely still about an hour or so out. Of course, uh, we have been tracking some of the chances for some wet weather in our forecast here over the next few days. Today, there's still going to be a lot of dry time, but uh, looking ahead to tomorrow, maybe some better chances for widespread rain. With the clouds around, the south breeze already picking up uh, somewhat of a mild morning uh, temperatures in the low 60s from southern Illinois to southeast Missouri. Still some lower 50s back into Paducah and Murray, Kentucky this morning, but a lot of dry roads to start again. A few spots I uh, could see just enough rain this morning to wet some of the concrete in a few areas, primarily Mount Vernon, say over towards the Pinckneyville area. A lot of folks are going to remain dry. The showers by this afternoon are out of here and then looking ahead to Wednesday. Wednesday's our best chance for widespread showers, maybe a few thunderstorms as well. Well, that's a strong cold front that's going to push through and uh, bring in some much cooler air towards the end of this week. But uh, there's the push of moisture this morning out of the Gulf of Mexico, bringing uh, quite a bit of rain northward and trough making its way into the uh, central U.S. Strong cold front uh, this morning that's out across the Canadian border, just now making its way into the United States. Quite a bit of cold air, though, behind that. And we do anticipate more in the way of showers and storms to develop out ahead of that front. This afternoon, uh, lunchtime temperatures in the low 70s. Notice uh, most of the rain stays north and west of our region. A lot of dry time this afternoon, upper 70s in southern Illinois, lower 80s into southeast Missouri and western Kentucky. But here we go into uh, Wednesday morning. It's about 9 a.m. Uh, most of our area is still dry, but the line of showers and maybe a few thunderstorms approaching from the northwest and it will track south and east across the region through the bulk of the morning hours. By the afternoon, we could see a few storms redevelop as the cold front moves through. But then things start to clear out pretty quickly. This is not a big rainmaker for us because it's pretty fast moving, but uh, it is at least a good chance for some measurable rain. However, Storm Prediction Center keeps our area out of it today, but looking ahead to Wednesday, small chance for an isolated strong storm or two with some small hail, some gusty wind. Storm Prediction Center has this highlighted in a level one. Again, not a drought busting rain by any means. Uh, for most, it's going to be less than a half an inch and then dry weather returns for Thursday and Friday highs only in the upper 60s. Both those days a little cooler. However, we'll bounce back up on Saturday. A couple of isolated showers possible this weekend and another cold front moves through big change on the way. Early next week uh, we may see more temperatures in the morning, possibly below freezing and afternoon highs only in the mid to upper 50s. All right. Thank you, Nick. Yeah.